Mom says when you're small like me, you gotta watch out for yourself. I ain't gonna lie though, kids at school are always here with me. Making fun of my shoes and how broke I am. I don't tell my mom because I don't want to see her upset. I once heard this real famous comic say that deciding to wear flip-flops is like saying, I hope I don't get chased today. That's why I don't wear flip-flops. Looks like you, except you don't have shoes in middle school. <laughs> the bread ones. The black and red ones. The originals. First Jordans ever made, man. With you, man. Check it out, man. Look what I got for you, baby. How you doing? Now, don't hurt your eyes right now. I'm gonna show you some stuff, man, you may not never seen before. Where'd you get all these? Never mind that. Don't worry about that. Why your shoes look like that? I got some stuff for you. You know my name, Daryl. What's your name? Brandon. What's up with you, boy? Let me show you some stuff, man. You might want some of these stuff. Your foot game is everything in this world, man. You feel me? Let me show you these. See these? Boom, boom. Brand new. You feel me? That was nice. You like those, huh? I got, I got something that's gonna be nice for you, though. <laughs> the stores don't even got these, boy. These exclusive, you see? But these right here, these cost more than your life. Blood, you did not buy these. Your mama got them for you? I bought them. The bread Air Jordan 1s? Yeah. Are these in originals? Man, they're yeah. like a grand on the internet. How you hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, look, 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 look. I swear to God, I bought them, like for real, I did. Listen, I was walking home and I saw a crazy Daryl on 23rd. So I'm like, yo, Daryl. And then he like, what up? So you know, I'm talking to No, he didn't. Man, anyway, I'm like, what you got? And then he like, hey, blood, check this out right here. You ain't gonna find it anywhere else. It costs money your whole life. When I seen them re-release was looking sweet, I had to cop. So I'm like, how much? like 200, bro. <laughs> so I turn and walk away, you know, and playing me. And he's like, wait, nah, I'm at 150. And I'm like, yeah, that's more <laughs> like it. <laughs> and I was like, peace. That's how I got him. So what you come here for? I uh, got into some trouble. Your mama know? Mm-mm, she don't know. Well then. You know a guy named Flacco? I heard he live out here, and I thought maybe because of what you do. Oh, maybe. really, what I do? Nah, I, I just thought because, you know, you, you out here and he out here, then you might know. You know what Flacco mean? No. Flacco mean skinny. He's just a skinny little like you. You want to know his real name? Yeah. <laughs> I bet you do. What'd he do to you? Take your girl? 
Nah. My shoes. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I know Flacco. Hmm. He used to push for me when he was like 13. Smoked some of my shit and went away for a few months. He desired to get his ass beat. So, can you help me? <laughs> what? Help you beat some kid's ass? I'm a grown ass man. You ever been in trouble with the cops before? Figured. You always been too much of a pussy to get in trouble with the cops. <laughs> that ain't how that works. You such a man now, go and be a man. You wanna walk around with a piece strap, start shit you can't finish? That ain't how that works, bro. Hi, Vale here. Now, keeping with the drama, and knowing everyone loves a good drama, here are the top 10 drama movies of all time, according to Rotten Tomatoes. Coming in at number 10 is Rear Window from 1954 starring James Stewart and Grace Kelly. At number 9 is 2013's Gravity starring Sandra Bullock and Josh Clooney. Number 8 is Roman Polanski's Repulsion. Jean Renoir's Grand Illusion is at number 7 and Richard Linklater's award-winning Boyhood comes in at number 6. Humphrey Bogart and Ingrid Bergman's Casablanca is number 5 while Fritz Lang's Metropolis is at number 4. Number 3 is Francis Ford Coppola's Godfather and number 2 is All About Eve starring Betty Davis. And topping off the list at number 1 is... Wait for it, do you really want to know? Okay, number 1 is Orson Welles' Citizen Kane. <laughs> okay, so do you agree with this list? What would be your top 10? Let me know in the comments below and remember to subscribe to our channel for all the latest trailer releases. Bye!